Welcome inside the Padoka Culture and Recreation Complex for this HJHL 21 matchup between the Padoka Stampeders and the Red Deer Vipers. As Cole Sears will get back in between the pipes here after a little bit of a break. Brandon Billado kind of stole the net from him. And uh, Robert Machetti will go for Panoka. Panoka, it's a big game for them. Uh, chasing down the playoff spot. And uh, we will be underway. A couple of lineup changes for Red Deer. Getting some guys in that haven't been in in a while. Ben Shoskovsky will jar in. Jordan Volk as well. As, same with uh, Brett Marsolier is on the far side. Dalton Angle, Twit has it. Gives it up to Logan Linnell. Linnell now to Mac Difference. Difference now starts over the line on the far side. Is uh, the Red Deer Vipers. They have clinched a playoff spot. And they are just uh, hoping to... Squeak into the, one of those top two spots and secure a first round bye. Here is Dalton Angle Twit. Back in his own zone. Now it comes to Logan Linnell. Now here comes Lawson. He gets drilled. Pinoka, meanwhile, coming off of a victory over the Airdrie Thunder. Here on home ice. And so they will uh, try to stick, keep their hot hand going. Chasing down the... Statler Lightning for the final playoff position. Here comes Dalton Angle to it over the line. He gets checked. Statler is in Rocky tomorrow. Now a drop pass. Here's Jacob Saylor shooting. That gets blocked. Keegan Kingwell skates onto it. Kingwell gets it up to Kale LaPointe. LaPointe trying to take it wide. Drops off for Aiden Wilson. Wilson to LaPointe. A one-timer stopped by Robert Machetti. Now here comes Jordan Kelly. Back the other way. Poked off with the stick. It'll come back to LaPointe. LaPointe to the middle, looking for Wilson. Couldn't get it there, and Jonathan Kelly has it for the Pinocchio Stan Peters. Retreating back into his own zone, looking to get this one up and out. Pinocchio, wearing their alternate black jerseys here. Pinocchio trying to center this one. Donna, this is Kelly. Up top, Straub. Now he's coming back in front. Jonathan Kelly denied by Sears. Here come the Red Deer Vipers. This is Lane Sim on the far side. Turn back, it comes to Shea Reynolds now. Reynolds in the neutral zone. Spinning back. Gives up to Caden Gatz. Gatz knocked off the puck, but he got it right back. A shot stopped by Sears. He holds on to that. And he will freeze it. it is the Pinocchio Stampeders, as I mentioned, they're chasing down those Stetler Lightning for that final playoff position. Uh, this is just a, it's a massive game for them. Over to the far side, will come to Spencer Yates. Now here's Marsolier. Marsolier inserted back into the lineup. Here's Declan Johnston. Over the line, knocked off the puck. Johnston again. Johnston spinning around his man, trying to center this one. It will come into the near side corner. Johnston back to the line. Sullivan now sent. Trying to go across Brockerville. Comes loose. This is Walker Guthrie. Now it will come to Sullivan. Sullivan tries to skate this one in, comes to Yates. Yates carries over the line for Red Deer. Now one-timer, rebound, right there, Lane Sim can't shoot it. Back to the line, Sullivan tees it up. It's blocked, and here comes Caden Gatz back the other way. It's a big game for playoff implications for, uh, for Pinoca, but for Red Deer, it's a big game as well. As, uh, as I mentioned, trying to chase down that uh, first round by. Right now, Pinoca. It's four points back is Statler. Uh, so, fact of the matter is, actually, the Pinocchio Stampeders need points of some kind to stay in the race. Here's James Lee. Far side, harder, far in the corner. Harder. Backhands. This one stopped by Sears. He holds on. His Red Deer tries to play spoiler on the stamps. So you're four points back as Statler. With only six points available to you, you need at least one today. At the very minimum. Here's Jordan Volk inserted back into the lineup. Starts in over the blue line. Centered it! Rag it off the post! Volk's got it back. Volk turned it over. It's Nate Higgins on the far side. Higgins now. Here comes James Lee. Lee knocked off the puck. Here's Ben Shishkovsky. Now back the other way, Jordan Volk. Volk looking in the middle, finds Damian Chopek shooting it, gets blocked and goes into the corner. There's Jordan Sears. 
Now it's stolen here. Here's Nate Higgins. Higgins trying to get this one uh, out. It'll come down to James Lee. Lee now to Jacob Saylor. Saylor into the middle. Sears. Jordan Sears. He's got a chance. He shoots it. Stopped by Sears. No relation between those two Sears. Jordan Sears and Cole Sears. Jordan obviously uh, put up a forward. Cole Sears, the Viper goaltender. Draw to the right side of Sears. One here by Red Deer. It's Keegan Kingwell will skate out the near side, give it up to Brett Hoppus, and Hoppus starts right in. Hoppus trying to split the D. Jonathan Kelly takes that away for the Stampeders, and here come the Stamps. It comes over to Kieran Bullock. Bullock trying to get around Kingwell. Bullock into the middle, Kelly. Kelly to the line, teed up. Blocked there by Keegan Kingwell. Kingwell will now start out, trying to drive this around. Austin Anciani will. Kingwell looking into the middle. He comes off the wall into the middle. There's Angle Twitty. Shot it blocked. And the first penalty of the game will go the way of the Red Deer Vipers. Pinocchio's going to the power play. It's Dalton Angle Twitt will go to the penalty box for tripping. So the power play unit, Jacoby, Kelly, and Gatz trying to get this team a 1-0 lead. Here's Caden Gatz, far side now, Kelly. Kelly, Jacoby, spins and fires. Rebound comes loose, Caden Gatz. Gatz to Kelly, rebound in front, comes loose, and Kalinowski skates onto that and sends it the length of the ice. Pinoka fighting for their playoff lives here. Statler hoping for a Red Deer regulation victory, and then the North playoff picture would be set. This one spun and flung down the ice by the Vipers. As here is Jonathan Kelly. Kelly comes over the line. Kelly trying to drive it wide. He shoots it, stopped by Sears, and he is going to hang on to that. And frankly, so is everyone else below the Silver Lake Wranglers. Airdrie as well, open for the uh, the Vipers to pull this one out in regulation would clinch the uh, playoffs for everybody in the North Division. So there's Brett Marsolier. He flings that one down the ice. And now here's Jacob Saylor back. Saylor now to Nate Higgins. Higgins shooting from distance. Good glove saved by Cole Sears. He hangs on to it. Is we are in sniffing distance of the HJHL playoffs. Those will get underway in April. Uh, by my count right now, April the 3rd should be day one of the HJHL playoffs. That's Saturday. And that'll be when, the, be when the Survivor Series, the best of three Survivor Series, will commence. Now here are the Stamps in offensively, taken away by Kalinowski. We are back to five on five. It comes back to Casey Straw. Bullock over to the far side. Sailor now Higgins shoots a good kick save made by Sears. Up top, Jordan Sears. He shoots it. He's knocked, got it knocked away by Cole Sears. And now here come the Red Deer Vipers. It's Keegan Kingwell. Starting out through center, over the line now on the right wing. Drops off for Kalinowski. Shot stop made there. Excuse me, Keegan Kingwell was on the left wing. This Kalinowski shot denied by Robert Machetti. And the Pinocchio Stampeders have it in their own zone. Ryan Harder now gives it to Casey Straub. Here scoreless in Pinocchio. Straub carries over the line. He's on the left wing. Cuts to the middle. Straub couldn't get a shot away. Taken there by Kalinowski. Gave it up to Logan Linnell. Linnell now, he comes down on the near side. Looking to center this one. Linnell can't, spins away, back to the point. Comes up to the line, Marsolier drops off Wilson, spinning and firing, this one blocked. Marsolier to Wilson. Wilson in the near side, oh, Logan Linnell was robbed. Excuse me, it wasn't Linnell, it was LaPointe. Now a big hit on the near side boards. Here come the Pinocchio Stampeders. Keel lapointe has got it back though. He takes it the other way. LaPointe steps around Casey Straub, looking into the middle. He can't get it there, get it right back. He shoots it, stopped by Machetti and Pinoka. We'll go to the uh, penalty kill for the first time here. Brandon Brockerville is off for tripping. Tried to block that LaPointe shot. It's a bit of a soft call, I think. 
Brandon Brockerville does not love it. Face off to the right side of Robert Machetti. The Stamps win the draw, and they will clear it the length of the ice. In behind Paul Sears. This will come to Matt Difference. Difference in over the line. Difference starts to drive it around, around, right around James Lee. He does not. It will be taken away and sent the length of the ice by the Stampeders. Minute 20 to go on the Red Deer power play. Here's Brody Kalinowski. Taken away from him comes to Braden Klesens now. Klesens off the glass, nearly over the glass. But it is down the ice. And now turned over, here's Jordan Jacoby, a short-handed chance. He got run over. Clay Guthrie back to the line, Lee. Lee to Klesens. Klesens into the middle, James Lee. Stolen from him by Declan Johnston. And back the other way, he will come. 40 seconds ago on the Red Deer power play. Difference by himself, he puts it high and wide. Difference now to Declan Johnston. Johnston shooting, the Chetty makes the same. Is Robert Michetti, big save on a power play opportunity there for Red Deer. Wilson Liddell Hoppus, power play unit out there for the Vipers. 8.5 seconds to go in the first, 23 seconds to go in the Red Deer Viper power play. This one sent the length of the ice by Pinoca. And that will do it for the first period. Red Deer have a couple of seconds on the power play on the other side. As uh, both these teams go to the lockers, tied up, scoreless. Here at the Padoka Culture and Recreation Complex. Is, this was the best chance of the period. Falk centered it. One timer off the post. Shots are 10-6, Pinoka. Score is 0-0. Brandon Brockerville returns to the penalty box. Guthrie, Jacoby out there for the kill. Wilson, Hoppus, and Linnell for the last couple of seconds of the power play. And Pinoka carries right in. Here's Guthrie shooting through traffic. Good stop by Sears. We are back to even strength. Five on five. Keegan Kingwell comes in, dishes to Hoppus. Hoppus to Kingwell. Save the rebound. Kingwell put it wide. Now tied up in the far side corner. Kingwell lost it and Brockerville skates onto it. Hard hit there by Logan Linnell. Now it's taken away at the line by Jordan Sears. Linnell with it here. Trying to get this one up to Logan Linnell. And Linnell carries right in. Linnell turned back. Now on the far side, Brandon Brockerville's got this. Brockerville trying to get this one to Casey Straub, and Straub will get it to Jordan Sears. Sears will come out. Sears trying to drive this one wide. Sears stops up, takes to the middle. Sears shoots it. Oh, it's knocked away by Cole Sears. A really good uh, chance there for Pinocchio. I thought that might hop in over behind him. Now here's Nate Higgins. Higgins in behind the net trying to drive it to Sears. He couldn't do so. On the far side, Kingwell has control. Kingwell now got this to Logan Linnell. Linnell knocked off the puck here, and Bullock skates back onto it. Bullock taken away from him by Aiden Wilson. Wilson now to Logan Linnell. Linnell starts right back in for the Red Deer Vipers. Linnell tripped up. Red Deer going back to the power play as it'll now be covered up by Machetti, and the whistle will go. Dakota Sullivan is going to be the one going to the penalty box. He tripped up Logan Linnell. Face off to the right side of Robert Michetti. It's won by the Vipers. Angle to the loss and a one-timer. Michetti got across in time and made the save. Bailey Lawson teed that one up. Johnston, difference and Lawson, the power play unit out there for the Vipers right now. Draw one by Red Deer. Far side, teed up again, Linnell this time. And a glove save difference, excuse me. Glove save by Machetti. Red Deer really uh, working that option on the power play right now. Base off to the right side of Machetti. Johnson on the draw against Jordan Jacoby. It's won cleanly by Jacoby. Klesson's now James Lee over to the far side. Jacoby's going to carry it over to the red line. Take it in over center. Jacoby tries to drive it wide. He takes it in. A stop by Sears. And he will hang on to that good short-handed opportunity there for Pinoca.
Faces off to the right of Cole Sears. Won cleanly by the Stampeders. Clessons drops off. James Lee comes into the slot. He shoots. And oh, and this one. Bout takes a weird hop, but Sears is able to stay with that and keep it out. Face off now to Sears' left. Red Deer unable to win the draw again. Jacoby Guthrie shooting blocked. This one will come to Angletwit. Angletwit gets this to Lawson a minute to go in the Red Deer power play. Maybe a two on one. Now difference drops off. Johnston, he shoots it. Good save, Machetti. This one sent the length of the ice by the Pinocchio Stampeders. Down to 40 seconds to go in the power play for the Red Deer Vipers. Here is Declan Johnston. He puts himself offside and the whistle goes. Couple of good looks there for the Stamps. Good block uh, you see there by Brody Kalinowski on Clay Guthrie. Draw just outside the Pinocchio blue line. It's won cleanly by the Stampeders, and they will come in. Here is Brendan Scott. Scott into the middle. Casey Strong trying to go upstairs. He blew it high and wide. Kalinowski now to Declan Johnston, driving it wide. Johnston carries in. Johnston looking to the net front, but it's taken away there by Machetti. When the uh, penalty's over, he's trying to stretch Sullivan out of the box. Sullivan hits Walker. Got three. Couldn't get a shot away. Now Ben Shishkovsky. He gets it to Mac Difference. Difference over the line. Knocked off the puck. Bullock's got it. Bullock comes right back for the Pinocchio Stampeders. Here in Bullock. Into the middle. Casey Straub drops off. As did Anseon. Shoots it. Zerubiak gets this up to Dalton Angle Twit. And Angle Twit tries to carry wide. Angle Twit stops up. Trying to in there to in there to help out Jordan Volk. He's tied up along the wall. Chopak able to get this one to Ben Shishkovsky. Shishkovsky comes over to Kalinowski. And this one will be going for icing on Red Deer. Face-off will be to the left side of Cole Sears. Higgins on the draw against Shishkovsky. Shishkovsky ties his man up, but he'll come back to Sears anyway. But Volk has control for the Red Deer Vipers. Here comes the Vipers back the other way. Higgins skates onto it in the neutral zone. Still scoreless here. Over to the far side, it comes to Spencer Yates. Yates stops up. Looks to the middle to Shostovsky. Couldn't get it there. And now Higgins skates onto this offensively for the Stampeders. Oh, Nate Higgins got run over by Damian Chopek. And now here comes Declan Johnston. He cuts into the middle. Johnston can't get a shot away. It's taken a loot. The loose puck skated onto here by Sears. Skates it in offensively for the Stampeders. Ten and a half to go in the second period. Sears drops off to Sullivan. Sullivan shoots it. Save the rebound. Connor Sullivan skates onto that for Red Deer and takes that out of a danger area. A couple of last names shared between these two teams. No one related, though, other than the Scott brothers, of course. Brendan, the older brother of uh, Nick Scott. Brendan, uh, fourth liner in the lineup tonight for the Pinocchio Stampeders. Nick for the Vipers. Now here's Yates right in and a good chance. He put it high and wide. Now in there trying to dig this out. Red Deer able to keep this in deep. Yates ties up Jordan Jacoby down low. In there to help him is Brett Hoppus. But here come the Pinocchio Stampeders back the other way. Caden Gatz skates right around one man. He shoots it. A blocker saved by Cole Sears. 8.20 to go here in the second period. Brockerville back up top. Gates one timer in front scores. Caden Gatz centers it. And I believe Brendan Scott. His second of the year has given the Pinocchio Stampeders a 1-0 lead early here, late here in the second period. Good battle won there by Brandon Brockerville. Gat settled it and snapped home by Brendan Scott. 1-0 Pinocchio. That first one's a big one. Remember, Pinocchio needs at least one point to stay alive in the playoff race. Here comes Dalton Angletwit, the right back the other way. Angletwit's by himself. Angletwit shoots it. He just couldn't get around Guthrie. Good save by Robert Machetti. Now it comes to Braden Klesens. Klesens into the middle. Brendan Scott. Scott 
into the Guthrie. Guthrie will shoot it, gets blocked, and Bailey Lawson's got it. Lawson will skate it up through center. Now it comes to Logan Linnell. Linnell, he's driving it wide. Linnell shoots it. He gets blockered away. Now Lawson. Lawson gets it in deep for Logan Linnell. Back to the line, Kalinowski. Lawson, Linnell. Linnell on the near side boards. Trying to dig this one loose. And now skated onto here by Ryan Harder. Harder into the middle, taken away there by Brody Kalinowski. Eden Wilson goes to Mac Difference. Difference knocked off the puck. It'll go in deep here. It's going to be Walker Guthrie in the near side corner to Shea Reynolds, former Red Deer Viper. Reynolds gains the line for the Stampeders. Yeah, this is... Chopek over to Brody Kalinowski. Kalinowski gets this up to Brett Hoppus. Hoppus tied up here by Kieran Bullock. Bullock skates right down the far side. Right wing, centering pass. It's going to get intercepted by Brett Hoppus. point gives it to Aiden Wilson. Wilson trying to drive wide with speed, but he'll put it in deep. Austin Ancion now to Jonathan Kelly. 4-11 to go here in the second period. 1-0, Pinoka leads. Here's Brett Hoppus. Hoppus. Drives it wide, turns it over, but Barsolier able to help out. Now Hoppus into the corner, Aiden Wilson. Wilson knocked off the puck, trying to put this in front. Loose, it's taken by Casey Straub, and back comes Kieran Bullock. Bullock over the line for Pinoka. Bullock knocked off the puck, a one-timer! It comes right in front, and Brett Barsolier able to handle that one. It now comes to Ben Shishkovsky. Shishkovsky drives this in offensively for Red Deer. The Calgary native tied up on the far side boards. Skates uh, out. It will come to Ancion. Ancion knocked off the puck. Brandon Brockerville is offside. 2.13 to go here in the third period. In the second period, rather. 1-0. Pinoka leads. Pinoka has been... You can tell the more desperate team. They've been good defensively. Not allowing anything, really. And uh, they have to be desperate. Again, they need uh, need the points desperately if they want to make the HJHL 21 postseason. Here comes Jordan Volk. Volk through center. Over on the far side, he's just going to put this one in deep. This will be gathered here by Dakota Sullivan. Sullivan now to Caden Gatz. Gatz trying to get around angle twit. Can't got it to Declan Johnston. Johnston. Trying to drive this one wide in front. Lane Sim shoots it. Rebounds Zerubiak. Put it wide. Sim now to Angle Twin. Angle Twin into the corner. Zerubiak. Zerubiak. Johnston right off foot. Stop by Machetti and he holds on. Great save, Robert Machetti. Face off to the right side of Machetti. One by the Red Deer Vipers. One timer! Teed up by Yates and a good save by Machetti again. 17.7 seconds to go in the second period. Eighteen stops for Machetti thus far. Back to the line, Kingwell. Here's Lane Sim. Shooting! Save Machetti again. It's third line all over the Pinocchio Stamps. But uh, Pinocchio and Robert Machetti bending but not breaking. 11-10, Red Deer leads and draws, and they will not be able to win this one. But Yates, after it, not able to settle it down. I thought he might be able to get a shot away from point blank range but the buzzer will go and we go to the set the third period with Red Deer down a goal it's one nothing and the only goal of the game is Brendan Scott's and it's right here Scott one times that one by Cole Sears one nothing Pinocchio Stan Peters through 40 minutes of play Shots 13 to 8 for Red Deer in that second period. Despite that, Pinoka, the only team that's found twine, and they did so in the second period. 1 0 they lead. But welcome back inside the Pinoka Culture and Recreation Complex. And we are underway, third period. Far side, Austin Ancion's got the puck. Now, difference. Angle Twitch got it now. Here is Bailey Lawson. Lawson knocked off the puck, and back the other way comes Austin Ancion. 
Lawson, he's got it. Now it comes to Logan Linnell. Linnell now through center. Linnell knocked off the puck. It will come instead to Austin Ancion. He's crunched off the puck. It'll come loose to Linnell. And good hit there by the captain, Dalton Angle, to it for Red Deer. Now here comes Keegan Kingwell trying to drive the defense back, but it's stolen from him. And Nate Higgins has control here. Gets knocked off the puck. Here's difference right in front. Great play by Ancion. Didn't allow Bailey Lawson to get a shot away. Now here's Difference, knocks his man, uh, couldn't uh, control that one. Difference gets it to Bailey Lawson, Keegan Kingwell skates onto it. Kingwell now to Bailey Lawson, Lawson now to Logan Linnell. Linnell to Lawson, shooting, that one blocked and uh, didn't get there. Now it's Casey Straub, Straub now to J Jonathan Kelly. Kelly comes through center. Kelly looking to drive this one wide for the Pilk to Stan Peters. Kelly looking in the middle, couldn't get it there. It's knocked off the stick of the Stampede. Red Deer controls. Here comes Kale LaPointe. LaPointe tied up in the bet, right in front of the Red Deer Vipers bench. Angle Twit gets it back to LaPointe. LaPointe now right up to, Kale, to Brad Hoppus. He lets one go and a glove save made and holding on to that is Machetti. Face off to the left side of Robert Machetti. Hoppus, LaPointe, Wilson out there for the Vipers. Jacoby Katz, Brockerville for Padoka. But here's LaPointe to Hoppus. He shoots and it goes wide. Brett Hoppus, he's got it in the corner now to Wilson. Back to the line, Damian Chopek. Works it to Brett Hoppus. Wilson shoots in behind the goal. It goes Hoppus. Back to the line, Chopek. Wilson. Wilson. Puts it in the corner, Kayla Point right up front. Brett Hoppus couldn't get a shot away. Great defensive play turned in there. I think that was Caden Gatz. Now Brandon Brockerville on the far side. Gets this to Clessons. Clessons will skate it out. Clessons offensively for the Stampeders. Centering pass. Brockerville snaps that one just wide. Up top, Walker Guthrie. Now Clessons. Brockerville shoots it. He ran it off the post. Brandon Brockerville nearly gave the Stamps a 2-0 lead. Now here comes, this is Damian Chopek. Chopek in offensively, stolen from him by Guthrie. Knocked off the puck, sorry, this is Guthrie now. Guthrie skates onto that, Lane Sim in the neutral zone. Skates over the line for Red Deer. Sim, trying to drive it wide. Knocked off the puck there, Yates. Uh, excuse me, now it's Marsolier. Into the middle here is Johnston. He takes to the net, Sim shoots. Oh, what a save made by Robert Machetti laid Sid had the tying goal on his stick feet from the goal line he just couldn't jam it home Kalinowski gets bumped off the puck it comes though to Brett Marsolier Marsolier off the wall it'll come to Brett Ben Shishkovsky he couldn't drive it wide now here comes Harder Ryan Harder trying to drive it wide and he cannot do so Shishkovsky is tripped up Red Deer will go to a power play and get an opportunity to tie this hockey game back up 10.57 to go in the third period. Coming up a little later on, we have the Three Hills Thrashers. They are at Mountain View. That one is at 7 p.m. for your Monday nighter. Ready to the power play. Johnston, Lawson, indifference. Difference in the slot. Shoots in. Oh, and that one almost went off Straub and in, but it rolls just wide. Stamps able to get this one out and down the ice. It comes to Keegan Kingwell. Kingwell tied up in there. Trying to dig this loose Declan Johnson. He does. And now it comes to difference. He gives up to Bailey Lawson. Lawson trying to make the move and keep it in. Here is LaPointe. Into the middle. Kingwell shoots. Save Machetti. Flashes the leather and keeps that one out. Kingwell, the late zone entrant. Had all day tomorrow to pick his spot, but Machetti bests him. It stays 1-0, Pinoka. Johnson wins the draw offensively. Here's Difference. Shooting blocked. It comes right to Jacob Saylor, and he'll carry out for the Stampeders. Saylor into the middle, intercepted now. Bailey Lawson. Now it's Nick Scott. J J sorry, Brendan Scott. His shot stopped there by Sears. And now Kingwell starts in offensively for the Red Deer Vipers. Kingwell shoots it, trying to pick short side, but it goes high and wide. Now comes right to Hoppus. Hoppus in behind the goal. Brett Hoppus to Bailey Lawson. Lawson, Hoppus right in front. Great save, Machetti. Robert Machetti, a huge save. And now Sailor drives wide. Scott right in front. Scott couldn't get the shot away. 
Wilson to Bailey Lawson. We are back to even strength. Big penalty kill there for Padoka. Meanwhile, here's Hoppus. Lawson in front. Shoot! Stop Machetti again. Robert Machetti, absolutely unbelievable performance thus far. He's been perfect. 1 0 Stampeders lead. Red Deer had a top first, but from the second period on, I really do think they've been the better club. But uh, it hasn't mattered. Trzaskowski wins a draw here and tied up here. Brody Kalinowski. Now here's Jordan Volk. Volk into the middle. Another penalty coming to Pinoka. Volk now trying to center this one. He's knocked off the puck. Trzaskowski in there to help. It's finally touched up. So the Red Deer Vipers will go back to the power play. Jacob Saylor is going to be called for holding. And yeah, he held up Brody Kalinowski a little bit too long, I guess, there. And the Stamps have to kill another one. 8.02 to go in the third period. Red Deer on the power play again. They lose that draw, though. And Pinoka able to get a 200-foot clear. Angle twit tied up down low. Pinoka really going to work on these penalty kills and doing well on them. Is here's Aiden Wilson now gets it up to Dalton Angletwit. Fourth power play of the hockey game for the Red Deer Vipers. But Angletwit drives it wide. Angletwit, nifty move right up front. Hoppus snaps one. Save the Chetty with the glove. Hoppus tries to go upstairs on Robert Machetti, but he keeps it out. Wilson, Linnell Hoppus still out there on the power play for Red Deer. Ryan Harder on the draw, and he wins it cleanly. Machetti keeps that alive, and Braden Clessens goes all the way down the ice. The full 200 gathered by Dalton Angletwit now. Angletwit to Linnell. Minute to go on the Red Deer power play. Linnell over to the far side. Hoppus shoots it. Stopped by Machetti. Another offensive zone draw coming for the Red Deer Vipers. So Red Deer, as I said, I don't think they've played all that poorly uh, for the majority of this hockey game. I don't think they've played that poorly at all. But uh, they find themselves down one nothing, and now Pinoka gets a clear again. Red Deer can't win an offensive zone draw on the power play. Just 38 seconds to go on the man advantage. Here comes Mac Difference now. Difference into the middle. Knocked off the stick. It comes loose for Clay Guthrie, and Guthrie will clear. And that might just about do it. For the Red Deer Vipers man advantage, Keegan Kingwell got that one up to Mac Difference, and Difference starts in. Difference now, he's in the slot, drops off Kayla Point. LaPointe tries to defer, but it gets intercepted by Clay Guthrie. Guthrie knocked off the puck, chased down in the corner, and Kingwell a good hit there, and Kingwell retreats. Kingwell looking to get this one out, finds LaPointe. LaPointe on the back end as of right now because he was out there on the power play. Red Deer hasn't been able to get a change since Pinoka killed. And now here is Jordan Volk. Volk on the far side, knocked off the puck. It'll come to Nate Higgins. Higgins comes to Walker Guthrie in the middle. Guthrie skates out of his own zone. Now here's Jordan Sears. Sears knocked off the puck. Shishkovsky skates onto it. Leaves for Tristan Zerubiak. Zerubiak's got a pass to the net. Zerubiak near side. Volk scores! Jordan Volk! The equalizer! And we are tied up at one! Volk is first of the year comes in game 13 of 14. Off the pad of Machetti and into the back of the net. We're even at one. Great feed from Zerubiak to Volk. And that actually goes off the blocker of Machetti. He caught a piece of it. But it goes in nonetheless. And the Red Deer Vipers, with 4.08 to go in regulation, have found the equalizer. Pinoka here. Now, to me, what do you do? Do you play regular or do you play shutdown? Try to get through these next four minutes and just keep yourself alive and take your chance at overtime. Because you can't give up a late winner. Or well, that's curtains for your season. But here's Kelly taken away. And a shot from Kieran Bullock goes just wide of the net. Declan Johnston to Keegan Kingwell. Three minutes to go in regulation. Kingwell gives it over to Volk on the left wing. Knocked off the puck there hard by James Lee. And Lee will come back the other way for the Stampeders. But here is Dalton Angle Twit. Over to the far side lane, Sim now. He's fresh on the ice. Sim starts over the line, left wing. Sim drives it wide, looks in the middle, finds Declan Johnston. Johnston couldn't get a 
pass, and now he's looking for an option. He's knocked off the puck. Dakota Sullivan cannot get it out. Lane Sim in the corner. Sim in behind the goal. Sim trying to jam there. He can't take it away there by Nate Higgins. Nate Higgins knocked off the puck there by Lane Sim. Sim comes together hard with James Lee. Over to the far side, here's Dakota Sullivan. Sullivan knocked off the puck. Damian Chopek keeps it in for the time being, but Red Deer on a change. Pinoka able to get it clear here. Put in deep here by Kieran Bullock. Pinoka, if they go to overtime, get one point, their season will stay alive, at least for now. But here is Mac Difference. Difference in deep Linnell. Linnell trying to center it out front. Machetti is going to take no chances and hang on to that. 39.9 seconds to go in regulation. Red Deer's already clinched. The only thing they're trying to do now is try to lock down that first round by. Draw one here by Lawson. Near side Linnell right out front trying to go back to Lawson. But he fanned on it. And now here come the Stamps. Casey Straub drives it wide into the middle. Knocked down neatly by Logan Linnell. Linnell Kalinowski now to Bailey Lawson. Lawson driving it wide. He might have a two-on-one. Lawson shoots it up in the air. It comes. The rebound settled down. Jordan Jacoby's got it over to Caden Gatz. Gatz puts this in deep. Final 13 seconds coming off the clock here. Maybe one final rush for Red Deer. Here is Lawson. Lawson into the middle. Linnell. Linnell with it on the far side. Linnell unable to get a shot away. Regulation has come and gone, and we are even at one apiece. So the Pinocchio Stampeders will collect the point. That is the minimum they needed to stay alive in the playoff hunt, so they will do that. As the Red Deer Vipers and Pinocchio Stampeders will play five minutes of three on three, and if that solves nothing, we'll go to a shootout. Red Deer out shoots Pinocchio over the final 40 minutes of the hockey game, uh, 23 to 10. And despite that, uh, probably deserve a regulation victory, but a desperate Pinocchio team found a way to get a point. And uh, we are back inside the Pinocchio Culture and Recreation Complex. There's the Red Deer Vipers and Pinocchio Stampeders will play three on three. Len Ellen Wilson, the forwards for Red Deer Sears and Higgins for Pinocchio. As uh, Sears skates onto this. Hard hit there. Now it's Linnell. Angle twit the defenseman for Red Deer. And he'll carry in over the line now. Angle twit. Stops up. Up top. Logan Linnell leads out entrance. Oh, what a stop by Machetti with the glove. Casey Schraub, the defenseman for Pinocchio out there, by the way. But a hard hit on the other end led to Linnell walking in unprotected. And he nearly walks it off. Wilson against Nate Higgins on the draw. And the draw is going to be won by the Red Deer Vipers. Dalton Angle twitch shooting. And stopped by Machetti. And oh boy. A tripping penalty coming up against the Stampeders. Casey Straub going to the penalty box here. So Pinocchio, although they've kept their season alive, I mean, it goes without saying. The second point's huge for them. Now they got to kill one with four minutes to go in overtime. It's four on three. Pinocchio, though, will win the draw there. Red Deer, their power play has been pretty lifeless tonight. Haven't, a uh, couple of good chances, but haven't been able to find Twine on plenty of opportunities. Logan LaPointe, he's got it here. LaPointe shots it back to LaPointe. His shot gets blocked. Now there is set down the ice by Pinocchio. It's knocked down in the neutral zone by Kingwell. Comes to LaPointe now to Declan Johnston. Over the line on the left wing. Knocked off the puck hard, and it will come to Jacoby. Jacoby gets it down the ice again. A minute to go on the Red Deer power play. It's four on three here in overtime. LaPointe now to Declan Johnston. Johnston knocked off the puck. LaPointe, it comes out to Kingwell, and he skates in offside. We're going to draw just outside the Pinocchio line. Big hit there by Walker Guthrie on Declan Johnston. Johnston LaPointe, a little surprised they're staying out there on the power play with uh, how long they've been out there already. 2.49 to go in overtime. Draw one by the Red Deer Vipers. Here is Keegan Kingwell trying to drive wide. Is this one will come to Ryan Harder. Harder over to James Lee, and Lee will put it down the ice with a just half minute to go here in this overtime, in this overtime power play for Red Deer. 
Here is Kale LaPointe. Knocked off the puck. Harder's got it. Harder will try to take around Brody Kalinowski. Kalinowski steals. He's trying to go for the home run pass, but it got taken away, and the stamps come in offside. Just two seconds to go, by the way, on the Viper power play. So we will be four on four in two seconds. 30 to 20, the shots on goal favor Red Deer in the hockey game. Draw one by the Vipers, and we are back to even strength as the Pinocchio Stampeders have it now in the, uh, in the neutral zone. Austin Ancion moves this one to Nate Higgins. Poked off his stick, skating onto it though, Jordan Sears. Sears trying to drive wide. Al Dalton Angletwit takes that one away. Angletwit will skate out. Angletwit over the line on the left wing. Angletwit looking for Linnell. Linnell shoots it! Stop by Machetti. Hard hit. Linnell Wilson, another stop by Robert Machetti. Now here's back difference to Wilson. Linnell shooting, stop by Machetti again. Buck 25 to go in overtime. Here come the Padoka Stampeders. We're still four on four since Padoka killed one. We'll get a whistle and go back to four on three on three. And now here's Sears over to the far side. Higgins scores! Nate Higgins walks it off for the Stamps in overtime. And Padoka will take home two points. And with that overtime victory, they will cut Statler's grip on that last playoff spot by half. They were four points back of him coming in. Statler still has to play tomorrow. Pinoka will salute the crowd. Uh, so Pinoka will go to 15, Statler at 17. They're in Rocky tomorrow. So Statler's magic number tomorrow will be two points and they clinch. Uh, Pinocchio's got to hope for a favor from the Rocky Rams who are playing for no reason other than to play spoiler. But the Pinocchio Stampeders get the two points in OT. 2-1, the final. And you look at uh, this game and Red Deer out shoots them. They all possess them by a substantial margin. Uh, pretty much do everything better. This game, in my opinion, comes down to special teams. Brendan Scott is your third star. Your second star, Nate Higgins, he is your game-winning goal as well in OT. Beats Cole Sears, no chance on that one. A bit of a breakdown for the Vipers. And your first star, no surprise, Robert Michetti. 32 stops, just letting one get by him. And uh, he was the best penalty killer tonight. And they say your goalie's got to be your best penalty killer often. And he certainly was for the Pinocchio Stampeders in this one. And this one definitely comes down to special teams. Red Deer goes 0 for 5 on the power play. Usually it's potent. Uh, was it tonight? And uh, maybe it's J.D. Morical. Uh, certainly does the right thing. He's getting some guys in the lineup. Red Deer's already clinched the playoffs. Bought just two regular season games to go. But that lineup was rolling for the Vipers. And, you know, maybe those changes just uh, kind of threw things off a bit. They end up getting a point, but they'll have to settle for just one. They lose in OT. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, let's get you a scoring summary here. No goals in the first period. Brendan Scott opens the scoring for Pinoca. End of the game at 11.51 of the second from Caden Gatz and Brandon Brockerville. Uh, Jordan Volk scores the uh, Vipers alone goal. 15.52 of the third period from Tristan Zerubiak and Ben Shishkovsky. And Nate Higgins will score the overtime winner at 346 of OT from Jordan Sears and Dakota Sullivan. And that's what gets you to your 2-1 final. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we got the Three Hills Thrashers at Mountain View taking on the Colts in uh, just a little bit. That one gets underway at 7. We hope to see you then. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you later.